Did you read Fourth Wing and think, hmm, this could be better? Well, look no further than to Shape a Dragon's Breath by Monoquil Black Goose. This book, the commentary on colonization, indigenous people, the way that it's literally, it's not even, the, the, there is no subtext. Like, if I were to show you the map, which I am going to, it's literally America. They're, the colonizers in this book are called the English. This is such an indigenous story and it has such a strong and powerful young girl, Anakos, who after dragons haven't been seen in the indigenous community for 200 years after the settlers come in, she finds an Impeshue, a dragon of her people and she bonds with it. She becomes a uh, Nimpesha Wayset, which is a dragon rider in her language. Um, and the English are like, um, excuse you, excuse you, you, an indigenous person, cannot be left on your own devices to have a dragon. No, no, we can't have that because there might be an uprising. No, no, you have to come to our dragon school and do it our way because we are the colonizers and we do it the right way, not you who live in harmony with the dragons before we came. No, that's not the right way. Absolutely not. So she is forced to go to this dragon school, learn how to ride dragons and use dragon magic in the way of these colonizers when her people have lost this connection with dragons from 200 years ago. And so she's like, fine, you know what, fuck you. I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna go to your school, but I'm gonna learn and go back to people, to my people and help them recommune with the dragons. This book is so absolutely immaculately well-written. It's such an immersive fantasy and a Black Goose is absolutely a upcoming voice in fantasy. And this is not a book you should miss out on.